Hello friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel DS Tech Mirror. Topic for today video is Integrate Power Apps in Power BI Report. Before I start with the actual demonstration, I will try to give you a brief overview what we are going to do in today's video. Let's get started. This is my Power App. Over here, I can log in as a help desk user. I can create a ticket and then I can cancel go back. So overall, this is just a basic Power App. On the other hand, I have this Power BI report, which is totally independent of my Power Apps. Altogether, it is a different data set. Everything is completely different. You could see uh, this is new hire report, then active and separation report, bad hires and other things. This is related to my report. Now, I want to integrate this Power App inside this Power BI. So, how we can do that? Over here, what I have done, you could see this. I have already integrated this. Power app inside this Power BI. So I can do everything from inside Power BI also. What I can do with this Power app, I can log in as a helpless user, I can create a ticket, cancel. Everything would be working exactly the same the way it is working inside the Power app. So we will see how we can do that. For that, what I'll do, I'll go to the Power BI desktop. So this is my Power BI desktop and this is my report. So how I can integrate that? For that, what I'll do, I'll create a new page. I will name this page as rename integration demo. Now to embed a power apps report in this page, what you can do, you can use this icon over here under visualization called power apps for power BI. There is another for power automate, but that we will see in another video. For today's video, we will see with power apps. So I will click on it power apps for power BI. The moment I click on it, I can see this style on my page. What I can do, I can adjust the size, I can make it full page. And over here, there are these, you know, steps which are mentioned how to get started. So what we have done, we have added this. We have added this visual called Power Apps or Power BI. Next is this Power Apps data. We will add data which we want to pass to this Power App. So for now, what I'll do, I'll pass this separation reason table, separation ID. If I want, I can pass the entire table or if I want, I can pass some individual fields as well and I'll pass the separation reason. After this, you could see the moment I have added the data, I got these two buttons, choose app or create new. For now, I will choose an existing app. And I could see the list of all the apps present in my Power Apps environment. From here, I can select different environments. This is my default environment. If I want, I can select the other environments. I can select the app present in those environments. For now, I will select this app called Help Desk Ticket and I'll say Add. And it is saying almost done. Save your app in Power App Studio to finalize the data uh, connection. So it is already saved. I will skip. And this is how you can integrate. So it is very simple. It's a no code solution. Nothing. You have to just make use of this visual called Power App or Power BI. Next is we can publish it to the Power BI service. From here, I can click on Publish. But before that, let's see. Uh, if we choose the other option, create a new app. For that, I'll say, I'll create a new page. I'll say, integration demo one. Now over here, I will again add this visual called Power Apps or Power BI. I will expand this to full page and then I'll quickly pass this data. Separation type ID, separation type reason. Over here this time, I will select create new and what it will do this will create an app for me and it will open the app in the power app studio now over here i will tell you we will get a special object which we will not get if we are creating uh, this power app from inside the power apps it is called power bi integration so this object you will get only if you create this power apps from inside power bi using the visual called power apps for power bi and using this object, you can interact with the data which you have passed from the Power BI. Over here, it has automatically created this gallery and you could see if you go to the gallery and in, inside this data source items, you will get this Power BI integration dot data. So this Power BI integration object in itself is a collection and to see uh, all the data present inside this, what we can do, click on this gallery item and if I just select this, you could see this. This is a data type of table and all the data is present inside this table. Separation type ID, U, voluntary and involuntary, separation type reason and from inside this we can fetch the data using this item dot separation reason. So this is how 
you can create a new app from inside the Power BI. You will get this Power BI integration. This one important point which I would like to highlight over here is the limitation of this Power BI integration object is it can only get the first thousand rows from the Power BI. For example, if this table is having two thousand rows, so it will only fetch the first thousand. It will not fetch the all the data. So if you want to fetch the uh, large data set, what you can do, you can use you can use Power Automate for that. I have already created a video on that. You can find the link in the description box below. How to get data, how to pass data from Power BI to Power Apps using Power Automate. So I already have a video for that. Guys, that's it for today's video. But before I close it, let's quickly publish this and see how it will look in the Power BI service. So I will publish it using my workspace, select and I will replace. Now this is now this is publishing our changes to the Power BI service. I will go to the service now. I will refresh, control F5. We will go to the new page called integration demo and this is our app which we have created. Exact same thing which I have demonstrated in the beginning of the video we have achieved. If I go to the integration demo one, this is the new app which we have created using Power BI data. And this is outside the Power BI data. So guys, that's it for today's video. You can explore this at your end and if you face any issue, do let me know in the YouTube comments. So guys, thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please like and share the video and subscribe to the channel to get notification for our coming videos. Till our next video, much love, keep learning, thank you.